All right. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Well, the recession is driving more college students to the private loan market. That's one theory, anyway. But not so much in mid-Missouri schools. KOMU 8's Samantha Running is here to give the local take on this national trend in student aid. Samantha? Angie, they call it FAFSA. New at 6 will show you the difference between private loans and money that's available through the FAFSA. Okay, thanks a lot, Samantha. Well, without the video streaming website, YouTube Susan Boyles would not be a celebrity. KOMU 8's Christy Millward is here to tell us how it may not be making them famous, but now a surprising group of Missourians is being use, is rather using the same video website. Christy? Thanks, Angie. A handful of Missouri legislators is pitching printed newsletters. House members Eric Burleson from Springfield and Brian Pratt from Blue Springs also use it. Want to see your state rep on YouTube? Start at our website at KMU.com. Okay. Thanks, Christy. I never have had the opportunity to view the, any of the memorials, and, and this is a lifetime gift, I think. A lifetime gift for World War II veterans from around mid-Missouri. Early this morning, about 55 veterans gathered for the drive to St. Louis and their flight to the nation's capital. New on KOMU 8 News at 10, the vets return from their trip thanks to the Central Missouri Honor Flight and will be there live to welcome them home. The housing crisis reaches the basement yet again. And the swine flu continues to affect southern states. KOMU 8's Jessica Miller joins us with news from around the nation. Jessica. All right, thanks, Jim. Officials confirmed two more cases of swine flu in Georgia today. Both cases are in Atlanta. The latest cases are a three-year-old from Cobb County and a 36-year-old woman from DeKalb County. Officials at Eagles Landing Christian Academy are also dealing with the flu. The academy closed for two weeks after a confirmed case in a 14-year-old who goes there. School officials continue to search for the source of the student's infection. Officials in Oklahoma also confirmed its first case of swine flu earlier today. And Washington, D.C. is on the way to recognizing same-sex marriages performed in other jurisdictions. As prosecutors prayed outside, the D.C. Council today gave final approval to the new legislation. The issue must still go before Congress, which was final approval over the city's laws. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke says the economy should pull out of a recession and start growing again later this year. Speaking to the Joint Economic Committee of Congress, Bernanke said there's good news in the household sector with growth in consumer spending. Even though he believes the housing market is beginning to stabilize, he still has his concerns. Bernanke says we should expect an increase in unemployment rates in the coming months. There is little activity in this Columbus, Ohio neighborhood. A new analysis says 70% of the homes are vacant here, making it the emptiest neighborhood in America. The Associated Press study considered federal housing and postal data in the study. Other hard-hit neighborhoods identified are in some of those same Rust Belt areas, hit hard by the recession of the 1980s. This includes Flint, Michigan, Buffalo, New York, and Indianapolis, Indiana. More than 100 members of the State Employees Association of North Carolina protested today. They're angry because the state officials ordered the furloughs to balance this year's budget. The state will, the employment will begin to increase. And that's a look at your news across the nation. Jim and Angie. Okay, thanks a lot, Jessica. If you want to comment or question the way we cover the news, be sure to visit our website at the address you see on your screen. You can now call us also with your view. Dial 573-884-NEWS and ask for the Your View comment line. We'll put your comments on the air Fridays on KOMU 8 News at 6. A European company is making progress on a timely vaccine. So when will the swine flu vaccine be ready? We'll have that in a Your Health Report. And you're looking live over Highway 63. This is KOMU 8 News at 5. Coverage you can count on. Clouds probably will be plentiful for the next day or so. Chance of rain slim, but temperatures warm. My forecast is next on KOMU 8 News at 5. A calorie is a calorie, even if it does come in liquid form. And when it comes to losing weight, watching what you drink may be just as important as what you're eating. NBC's Meredith Land has the story in today's Your Health. Meredith? 
And that was NBC's Meredith Land. More Americans are also taking drugs to treat some form of mental illness. According to Columbia University study, the number has risen 73% since 1996. Among children, the rates are at 50%. Experts say improved insurance coverage and more primary care doctors prescribing the drugs have driven the increase. 15% of elderly adults now take a psychiatric drug to treat either depression or dementia, two times higher than in 1996. And a biotech firm in Hungary could become among the first in the world to produce a vaccine against the H1N1 swine flu virus. Omninvest is one of the few independent companies in Eastern Europe that produces flu vaccines. The company expects to get a version of that virus from the U.S. soon. Omninvest was one of the first companies to produce a vaccine against the bird flu. It could have a vaccine ready by late summer or early fall. Jim? Thanks, Angie. An unlikely hero comes to the rescue. An animal kept his owner alive. This is KOMU 8 News at 5. Coverage you can count on. At least three dogs and one cat got awards today for being more than just their owner's best friends. CNBC's Michael Dick has the story in this Caring Families report. Nestled in the arms of his... <laughs> Real heroes. Definitely. Well, some odd looking relatives. And a dog with a dog's best friend. This is KOMU 8 News at 5 coverage you can count on. Tanglewood Golf Course. The city of Fulton owns and operates it, but they are open to some options if they would relieve the financial burden on taxpayers. In tomorrow morning's coverage from Callaway, we'll put around some ideas. One that just might be a hole in one. We'll have that story plus all of your top headlines in news, weather, and sports. We'll see you tomorrow morning for KOMU 8 News Today, starting at 4.30.